Pokemon Frog Tech Tips. Today I got a, another GPU which come from my uh, fan. He sent it for repair. Uh, the car should be the error code 43. No signal as well. Mm, I will just double check it. What's actually the problem with this car on this big pack? And yeah, have a look and hopefully I can fix it. Tips today I've got a 1080 Ti graphic cards which been sent it from my fan uh, for repair. The car should be have a no signal or error 43 error. We'll find out to have a look and hopefully we can repair it for you. Pack is very nice. I send it on original package. Brilliant. Okay, we'll have a look inside. First time I even see the HDMI to DVI then manual GPU Someone already try open this car and car this looks nice. Okay. Go and test this and to see if it's that work or not. Plug this car to my test rig. Okay. Switching on. Card is light up. Fun is works. There is no signal. Okay. When this card is actually in, there is no signal at all. Even from my onboard GPU, it looks like it's blocked. My onboard GPU, that means I even can check that on device manager if it's uh, the card have some problem, error or whatever. But yeah, just PC just beep, like looks like starting normal, but doesn't have uh, any signal. That means I will just do a standard procedure. That's actually the uh, history of this card is uh, some artifacts and no signal, error 43 and B2 error as well. That means who knows what is exactly wrong but the good point is uh, he said nobody repaired this card before uh, and that's why he sent to me he don't want to try it. That's, we'll see, I'll try my best and to see if it's working. Open the car. Now is the cross pattern for the GPU die.
I don't know how long it's been used this card, but uh, yeah, this card is have absolutely no thermal paste at all. And even this cooler is a piece of crap, it's not even Cooper. And yeah, you can see there is no no thermal paste nearly. Yeah, that's it. Don't forget to change your thermal paste before your card will finish like this and will be dead. Okay, clean the GPU. Okay, use the isopropyl alcohol. Use the flux. And now use the heat gun. Three hundred two hundred ninety Celsius. And all this stuff, how to heat the car, you can see on my another videos. You just have a look on my channel, there's a plenty of videos about this. Okay, your heating is done and you know what you need to do, like slowly going up and keep car cooling down. Don't touch the card now, keep cooling down about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes we can put it together and test it to see if that helps. Car is cooled down and now we'll use the thermal paste. This time I will be used the HY610 Grace, which is the gold one. Yeah, that should be alright. Don't forget to clean the heatsink as well. Plug in the fan. Okay. Don't forget to use the cross pattern. Okay, all done. Now we are gonna check and test this card inside my test rig to see if the card is working. Go for it. Okay, we're gonna plug in this GPU. Okay, GPU is plugged in. We're gonna test it first without the hard drive just to see if we got a picture. Let's go! Uh, switching on. Uh -huh. Here we go, we got a picture. Brilliant! Now we're gonna plug in the hard drive and see if the card is working. Plug in the hard drive. And test it again. 
3, 2, 1. Wait till the windows fully load up. Card is in and windows is load up. Just need to wait till load out the driver and we can test the card. Okay, finally we got a driver downloaded and I'm now gonna install this driver. Okay, wait for the driver install. The driver changed the resolution, which is a good sign the car will be working. Driver is installed, full mark is start, and now I'm gonna do a stress test. Okay, this GTX uh, 1080 Ti is switching off on my test rig when I push the stress test and I make a decision install this car to my main rig. Hopefully, I don't get a damage to my main rig. Let's go! Okay, I test this card with the full mark and look at that, it's working over the one minute. It doesn't work on my test rig PC, probably some power supply is not strong enough for this card, even if it's really good, but something wrong with it. Uh, but for now, on my PC, it's my personal rig, you can see that, it's a really nice uh, PC. Uh, I've tested this uh, on my rig and it's everything looks alright so far in one minute and I'll be testing a longer time and that's we'll see if that works or what's happened after 30 minutes or one hour or something like that maybe I'll be trying some games as well okay uh, 30 minutes is gone card still working with no the problem at all that I will be calm this card is uh, fixed, I will be testing a little more uh, off from camera, but yeah, I don't see the reason why it will be not working, uh, and I will be also do some game test if yeah, it's already on the PC, why not? Okay, 1080 Ti run the benchmark, I this time record this from off the monitors, as you can see, hope just be sure I got the best uh, recording and FPS on the maximum as you can see that it's not a problem at all I know it's not the right recording type but yeah that's how I will be doing it now and hopefully you will see that uh, real performance on my main rig Okay, and we can see the FPS is stable 60k. And now we can have a look at the FPS. If you switch off the V-Sync, we can see the maximum FPS. It's going 90, 80, 72, yeah. Okay. It looks absolutely fine. I like it. But it's only proof I'm still happy with my RX 580. Okay, as you can see this 1080 Ti GTX is fixed, uh, still on the test on my main rig, 
but absolutely everything looks fine even the temperature is maximum is around 80 Celsius which is good hopefully you like this video don't forget to click like share and if you got any question just ask because this is amazing another card is fixed and hopefully you like it see you soon on another video